Life of Pi A novelist visits Pai Patel, Irfan Khan, a middle-aged Indian immigrant from Pondicherry now living in Montreal, Canada. Pai's father had named him Pai Seen Molitor after a famous swimming pool in France. However, as a child, Pai grew tired of being teased with the nickname Pissing Patel and decided to change his name to Pai, inspired by the mathematical symbol Pi. Through flashbacks, we learn that Pai's family owned a zoo, where Pai developed a deep fascination with the animals, especially a Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. After the liberation of French Pondicherry, Pai's father, Santosh, acquired the zoo where Pai's mother, Taboo, worked as a zoologist. In one poignant memory, Pai, driven by curiosity, attempts to feed the tiger. His father intervenes, scolding him and explaining that the tiger is a dangerous predator, not a creature to be treated like a human. To make his point, Suntosh forces Pai to witness the tiger killing a goat. Despite this lesson, Pai's compassion and curiosity toward life remain strong. Raised in a Hindu, vegetarian household, Pai's spiritual journey expands at the age of 12 when he discovers Christianity and Islam. He embraces all three religions, explaining that he simply wants to love God. His mother supports his exploration, but his father, a pragmatist, encourages him to think more rationally. As Pai grows older, he meets Anandi, a dancer, and they quickly fall in love. However, Pai's father becomes concerned about their future in India, fearing that the zoo's financial struggles will leave them without support. He believes selling the animals abroad will provide the funds needed for the family to start a new life elsewhere. When Pai is 16, his father decides to move the family to Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, where he intends to settle and sell the zoo animals. They book passage on a Japanese freighter named Tsimtsum. One night there is a storm. The ship begins to founder while Pai is on deck. He tries to find his family, but a crew member throws him into a lifeboat. Just as the ship falls into the sea, a freed zebra leaps from the ship to land on the boat with him. Pai then watches helplessly as the ship sinks, killing his family and the crew. After the storm, Pai finds himself in the lifeboat with the injured zebra and is joined by an orangutan. A spotted hyena emerges from the tarp, covering half of the boat. The hyena kills the zebra and then the orangutan. The orangutan staunchly defends Pai as the hyena tries to attack him. But the orangutan is weak from lack of food and exhaustion and is promptly finished off by the hyena. Suddenly, the tiger Richard Parker emerges from under the tarp, killing the hyena. Richard Parker then takes numerous swipes at Pai, practically running him off the boat. The tiger then devours the bodies of the other animals at night. Pai gets out biscuits, water rations, and a hand axe and builds a small raft to stay at a safe distance from the tiger. Pai begins fishing and is able to feed the tiger. He also collects rainwater for both to drink. When the tiger jumps off to hunt fish, at first Pai wants to let it drown, then he relents and helps it climb back into the boat. At one point, in a nighttime encounter with a breaching whale, Pai loses much of his supplies. After many days at sea, Pai trains the tiger to accept him in the boat. He also realizes that caring for the tiger is keeping him alive. Weeks later and half dead, they reach a mysterious floating island of edible plants, supporting a mangrove jungle, freshwater pools, and a large population of meerkats. Both Pai and Richard Parker eat and drink freely and regain strength. But at night the island transforms into a hostile environment. The fresh water turns acidic digesting all the dead fish that died in the pools. Richard Parker returns to the lifeboat, the resident meerkats sleep in the trees, the plants are carnivorous. Pai discovers the island's secrets when he finds a human tooth. The next day, Pai and the tiger leave the island. The lifeboat eventually reaches the coast of Mexico. Pai is crushed that the tiger does not acknowledge him before disappearing into the jungle. Pai is rescued and carried to a hospital, weeping. Insurance agents for the Japanese freighter come to interview him. They do not believe his story and ask what really happened. He tells a less fantastic account of sharing the lifeboat with his mother, a Buddhist sailor with a broken leg, and the cook. The cook kills the sailor in order to eat him and use him as bait. In a later struggle, Pai's mother pushes him to safety on a smaller raft, and the cook stabs her as she falls overboard. Later, Pai returns, takes the knife, and kills the cook. In the present day, the novelist notes the parallels between the two stories, 
The orangutan was Pai's mother. The zebra was the sailor. The hyena was the cook. And Richard Parker, the tiger, was Pai himself. Pai asks him which story the writer prefers. And the writer chooses the one with the tiger because it is the better story. To which Pai responds, thank you. And so, it goes with God. Glancing at a copy of the insurance report, the writer sees the agents wrote that Pai somehow survived 227 days at sea with a tiger. The insurance agents had also chosen the more fantastic story. No problem.